Hi, and welcome to this week's Auspicious Agile video blog. This week we're we'll taking a look at Scaled Agile, uh, SAFE, Scaled Agile Framework DevOps, and how Scaled Agile Framework approaches DevOps and how it compares to other approaches like uh, Jez Humble's comms and the three ways from Gene Kim, and uh, how we compare and contrast. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, of course, this will be our last Scaled Agile uh, auspicious Agile video blog of the year. So season's greetings and a happy new year to everybody. Uh, before we get into the topic, please uh, do take the time to subscribe, especially if you learn from and enjoy the Auspicious Agile uh, video blogs. Please just uh, click a thumbs up to give a like. That really means a lot for these videos. And also, uh, please do click to share and to subscribe and click the bell button to get updates for whenever we have new updated Auspicious Agile video blogs. But really appreciate you taking the time just to uh, show your support and uh, like the uh, video blog. Now let's get into a topic today, which is Scaled Agile DevOps. So Scaled Agile in its latest version, 4.6, has really made a lot of focus on DevOps and really incorporated that right in. We're blowing up and zooming in a little bit here, and we can see continuous delivery pipeline, and we can see their DevOps calmer approach, they call it, which we'll look at a little bit more. But the continuous delivery pipeline really incorporates all the way through. We have the continuous exploration, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and release on demand. All of these things are built right into Scaled Agile at the program level. And let's see how that compares to a more traditional uh, kind of definition from the DevOps handbook or from uh, other ways we look at it. So you might see traditionally we consider continuous integration and continuous deployment. Uh, and both of these are things that are covered, but the continuous exploration is really added by Scaled Agile, adding things like ideating and maybe a little bit of design thinking type ideas and looking through uh, what we might do and also release on demand, which means we're going to release at large scale, um, not just because it's deployed, we're actually going to release on demand of the business. Now, let's take a look at the calmer approach in terms of Scaled Agile and the way they look at it. And basically, they look at culture, automation, lean flow, measurement, and recovery. Now, as compared to Jez Humble, who kind of coined, is credited with coining comms, uh, the idea there of being culture, um, automation, lean, measurement, and sharing, recovery, we can clearly see, is different uh, from uh, the Scaled Agile definition and approach that they use. So recovery, Scaled Agile says, is stopping the line mentality, planning and rehearsing for failures, and fixing forward and rolling back capability. Now, many of you might be familiar with Chaos Monkey and some of the work that's done using that to uh, have fault tolerance, and that's the kind of idea behind planning and rehearsing for failures. Now, on the other side, shared uh, sharing, that really is the communication between DevOps and security, uh, and also, you can also incorporate this really into culture. So, the kind of traditional definition that comms uses, sharing uh, is very important, uh, but maybe also use in the culture aspect as well. Now, also lean versus lean flow, subtle difference, but I'm going to touch on this as well. Uh, Scaled Agile's DevOps approach uses the idea of lean flow. Uh, lean is a traditional one that we see in kind of the uh, DevOps handbook and some other uh, definitions around DevOps. Basically saying visualize work in process, limit batch sizes, manage queue lengths, but some people also uh, in the traditional kind of comms could think that, and I've seen this commented online, could actually think that it means to you know reduce the size of your technology teams or downsize, which we certainly don't want to do necessarily uh, associated with a DevOps initiative. Um, also, visualizing and using a Kanban board is going to be part of this. Uh, so I think that you just get a clean definition uh, in the Scaled Agile, some of the supporting articles and documents online. They give you some really good definition around this uh, in their calmer approach. And I think comms is pretty close, really, um, but maybe Scaled Agile just gives a little bit more definition around some things. Now, let's take a look at Gene Kim's three ways in comparison to Scaled Agile. We got flow, feedback, and continuous learning. So we're going to zoom in again into our Scaled Agile DevOps component here at the program level of Scaled Agile. And we're going to see things like flow, uh, and you will see that in the idea of lean flow. We're going to see feedback, which is really incorporated into the continuous delivery pipeline. So you got feedback loops there. You can see little circle feedback loops round and round. And continuous improvement, which is built into the scaled agile inspect and adapt, which is really a program level retrospective. So you're going to see those. And of course, we've circled a lean flow, uh, which is the idea of flow throughout uh, the entire calmer approach in DevOps for scaled agile. 
Now, uh, when we look at some of the things that we need to take into account when we're moving to DevOps, culture, tool chain, process, where do those fall into Scaled Agile? Well, let's take a look at that. So you can see culture, of course, is there under those DevOps calmer principles. You see culture, how are we working together, how are we collaborating, how are we doing things? And then the tool chain is, of course, built right into that continuous delivery pipeline. We have the continuous integration. We have the continuous uh, deployment. And also, you have it in the uh, automation there in the calmer uh, definition as well. So that tool chain is built in right there, automation tools. And then our process, we use Kanban, not only at the program level, actually, Kanban, which is used there, but also Kanban is used throughout the entire of Scaled Agile framework very consistently at every level. Now, let's get a little more context. I talk about the different levels in the Scaled Agile framework. You might say, what are you talking about? What levels, right? So the levels are portfolio and large solution, which I'm not going to show here, and program and team. And really, a lot of the DevOps definitions that we've walked through here today are really definitions that are associated with the program level of Scaled Agile. This is really important because programs in Scaled Agile really represent multiple teams. They call it an art or an agile release train. So the idea is that all these DevOps, these calmer principles, the continuous delivery pipeline, all of that is really at the program level. And also there is some team level components that also tie in as well. The engineering practices and the team level agility and uh, technical agility. So those things, including CI, CD, you're going to see at the team level. Very important to keep in mind where these things are in Scaled Agile to understand how it fits into that overall framework because the different levels are quite important. So, hopefully you got a good overview of how Scaled Agile works in DevOps. If you'd like to support the Auspicious Agile uh, video blogs, you enjoy, you learn something from them, and you'd like to support it, you can do so on Patreon. You can find that below in the comments, as well as by shopping on Amazon. You can find that down in the comments below as well. And, of course, by submitting and using uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, we have details for being able to support uh, via those types of contributions as well. And, of course, all those are appreciated to being able to make more quality content for you guys and hopefully help you to get some more knowledge uh, for your Agile and DevOps and digital uh, transformations and to be successful with those and blockchain as well. And as always, stay Agile and thank you so much for listening. Have a great holiday season, a great new year, and we'll talk to you again.